haven't been on YouTube for a while. I'll make another video as to why. But right now, it's just a Sephora haul. Um, I got a lot of stuff from the VIP set, VIB sale, but I never hauled it. So you'll be seeing some of that stuff in the my April favorites. So I just have to just jump into the haul. So I got the Marc Jacobs um, the Face 2 brush. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Looks like this. I really like this brush a lot I haven't tried it yet but if you can see it's like flat on one side and it comes to dome shape but it's a really cool looking brush and I'm probably gonna try it out sometime this week so that's Marc Jacobs face 2 brush then I got okay this I first got it the Laura Mercier um, illuminating face and in indiscretion I liked it at first when I saw it on the website, then I got it, then I returned it, and I saw somebody else on YouTube use it in a different way, so that's why I repurchased it. So it looks like this. It was limited edition, but you can still pick it up. Sorry. It looks like that. And the swatch is like that. Skizzy trying to get somebody pregnant. And so yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I'll probably try it out when I try the brush. Then, everybody talks about Benefits um, Gimme Brow. So I got it, and um, it's in light medium, because I don't want my, my eyebrows to look really dark. I don't like the dramatic eyebrows. So I got it in light medium. Then I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and my color is in chocolate. It's going to be a super quick haul because I wasn't planning on doing a haul right now. Hence the reason why I look like that. Look like this. But I repurchased the brow gel, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel because I absolutely love it. And But the Stila is my favorite and it smells like cake batter when you put it on so it smells really good. So this one's in... I can't pronounce that one. This one's in Patina. And I think the way you say this one is... This is, where is it? This is Bellissima. The applicators are like so easy to move. So it, it's easy for me to put it on. And this one is in Patina, which is like a really popular shade that I've never had. So it was worth trying. And it's like a dusty, for me it looks a lot like Lolita from Kat Von D, but it's not. I think it's a better formula. But yeah, that's it. I'm just excited to put all this stuff away. That's why I did like a pop-up haul. Um, I got two of the... Okay, so I like a lot the Makeup Forever's Step 1 Equalizers. The Skin Equalizers. So I have them now so far in, I believe, 1, 2, and 3. This is the mattifying one. Looks like that. And then... I got the hydrating one because my skin has been acting weird. Like I have dry patches over here, but my T-zone always still gets oily. So that's why I got the mattifying one and then the hydrating one. And then I also picked up a while ago when they first came out, the smoothing one, which fills in your pores and fine lines and stuff like that. So I'm in love with them. And I, oh, I got samples of the orange and the green one to cancel out the redness and the orange one to cancel out the dark circles. But I didn't buy those yet. I just got samples. Then I just have two more products. Um, I got the Cover FX Illuminating Face Primer because Candy Johnson raves about it. And it's supposed to be really good for the summertime. So that looks like that. And then the Cover FX Drops, which everyone was talking about. And I actually tried them on last night. And um, yeah, so I bought them and I'm excited to try them. I only tried it with my moisturizer and I already liked it. So I'm going to try a couple of diff other different ways. And then a lot of you guys have told me you wanted a review on it. So I'll review it. it just, it's really small, but it's just 100% like pure pigment in here. So it goes a little bit goes a long way unless you're using this like multiple times a day. But you shouldn't be. So yeah, I'm going to do a review on that. Probably this weekend because I'll be able to film more freely this weekend. So yeah. And I just have one more thing. And then we're finished. And I went to return something tonight, but they didn't have my shade, so I ended up getting the Too Faced 
of the Little Black Book of Bronzers since I, I don't have any. Except for the, I think the milk chocolate that came in one Christmas palette or whatever. But it looks like, looks like that. I'm sure a lot of you guys have it. And it comes with all the bronzers. So I'm excited to try them. So yeah, that was my haul. And I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.